Governor Bashir opened his fifth State of the Commonwealth address with a plea to the General Assembly to find answers to the tough budget challenges in this session. The budget decisions we face are horrible, but we cannot use lack of money as an excuse. Unlike the reassuring tones he used when talking about the budget during last year's campaign, Bashir painted a bleak picture. The key to balancing this budget lies not on the revenue side, but on the spending side. We will be cutting a lot. Still, he said, Kentucky would not succeed if the only response was to cut, and that set up his pitch for expanded gambling. Look. We've been talking about expanded gaming for 15 years. The people of this state want us to act. Look, expanded gaming is not an end unto itself. It's a mechanism. It's a mechanism that will keep significant money in our state that we're now sending elsewhere. Money we can use to protect and invest in our priorities, like education, job creation, and yes, our horse industry. Bashir got applause, but after the speech, Senate President David Williams called the response from legislators tepid. I think the response was guarded because they really don't know what he's addressing at this juncture. He has presented no language, and not only has the language not been presented, not even, you know, any sort of groundwork has been laid. House Speaker Greg Stumbo agreed the response from legislators is guarded. So it may be that they're having trouble coming up with the exact wording uh, of some sort of a proposal. Also on the money side, Bashir followed up his inaugural address and said he thinks tax reform is necessary. But that was about as specific as he got. Essentially, he kicked the details to lawmakers to work out. I guarantee you three things. One, all voices will be heard. Two, we will consider all options. And three, our focus will be on creating a system that meets Kentucky's future needs. Even that didn't go over too well. Speaker Stumbo said the way to go about changing the tax code is like planning a vacation. You gotta decide where you wanna go. That's the first thing you decide when, you, when you're planning your vacation. And then you have to decide whether you've got the time and the resources to go there. And with tax reform, to me, it's exactly the same phenomena. Uh, you decide where you wanna go, and then do you have the political will to go there? And can you gather enough support in both chambers to get there? And Williams, who backed tax reform during his run for governor last year, again found something to disagree with Bashir about. The bottom line is that everything this governor proposes and every agenda item he comes forward with should be focused on job creation in the state of Kentucky. The governor is more likely to get bipartisan support on other initiatives, most notably fighting abuse of prescription drugs. So during this session, you will be asked to consider a wide-ranging package of legislation designed to strengthen CASPER, including making participation mandatory and cracking down on pill pushers in white coats and on pill mills in Kentucky. Folks, you know as well as I do, this legislation is vital, vital for the health, the safety, the productivity, and the future. On the topic of education, Bashir asked lawmakers again to pass a bill raising the student dropout age from 16 to 18, but said early childhood education would have to wait. As our revenues recover, early childhood development is one of the first areas where significant new investment must be made. The governor says he will propose a bill aimed at better protecting children under the state's supervision. A primary component will be creating an independent review panel to examine child fatalities and near fatalities where abuse and or neglect are alleged. And throughout the night, he tried to use the theme of being bold. And if we put the focus where it belongs, on creating a better Kentucky for the people we serve, we will succeed. For Pure Politics, I'm Nick Storm.